This is a nonfiction book in science. It's part of the Vocabulary Reader series from Scholastic. And the name of the book is Stars and Constellations. It was written by Elizabeth Bennett. On the left side of the page here, there are photo credits. Some of these photos come from a place called NASA. We'll look at that later on in the book as well. NASA. The contents page tells you what's coming up. This is a small chapter book. So chapter one, what is a star? Chapter two, constellations. Chapter three, famous stars. And then when the book is over at the back on page 16, there's a glossary and some comprehension questions. Chapter one, what is a star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. This book will tell you all about stars. Stars may look tiny, but that is just because they are very far away. Here is a fast fact. There are at least as many stars in the universe as there are grains of sand on earth. Let's start out with a fast fact. The sun looks bigger than other stars because it is much closer to the earth. Our sun is actually a medium to a small size star. Some of them are much bigger than our sun. Which star is closest to the earth? The sun. Other stars are a lot like the sun. They are humongous balls of hot, glowing gases. It is hard to see stars in a city like New York or Chicago or Shanghai or Paris. City lights make the sky too bright. But if you are in the country, you can see lots and lots of stars. Country sky, city sky. The stars are the same, but the lights in the city make it hard to see the stars. Chapter 2, Constellations. People have always looked at the stars. Long ago, they imagined lines drawn from star to star. Connect the dot fashion. The lines made pictures called constellations. What do you see here? Long ago, people thought they saw a powerful bear, a bear with a tail. At night, they gazed up at the sky and told exciting stories about the bear the bear they saw in the sky. This constellation coming together of stars is called the Great Bear Constellation, Ursa Major in Latin. And here is a fast fact. The first constellations were named by the Greeks more than 2,000 years ago. Today, people see different things with the same stars. So if you connect these stars, dot to dot fashion, this is what people today call the Big Dipper. Sometimes ancient people saw heroes in the sky. Take a look at this shape. What do you think you see? Here's a fast fact. The shape of a constellation never changes. Long ago, people saw a brave man when they looked at that pattern that they saw by connecting dots with the stars. They named him Orion. They told stories about him. In the stories, Orion was a great hunter. Another fast fact. 
Orion is famous for his bright belt of three stars. And here are those three stars. Chapter 3. Famous Stars. Start with a fast fact. Blue stars are the hottest ones. Red stars are the coolest. Stars may look the same at first, but they are each a little different. Stars can be big or small. They can be red, yellow, white, or blue. The star named Sirius, that's this word, it's different from being serious about studying hard, being serious instead of funny. It's spelled differently. The star named Sirius stands out in a crowd. Why? It is very, very bright. It forms the chest of a constellation called the Great Dog. This one. This is the star that's name is Sirius. It is the brightest star in the night sky. We saw this constellation earlier. Fast fact. It is easiest to see the Big Dipper in the middle of summer. These seven stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, each have their own names, and they form the shape of a huge soup ladle called the Big Dipper. If you've read about um, Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth, and you've read about taking the Underground Railroad to freedom in the North, this is one of the ways that the slaves who escaped the South before the Civil War knew how to get to the North. Follow the drinking gourd. This Big Dipper was the drinking gourd. Another fast fact. Very true, this one. We are learning new things about stars every day. Men and women study as astronomers and as astrophysicists how stars work, how they were formed, how they are all parts of galaxies. There's so many things still yet to learn. Wow, there are so many pictures in the starry night sky. Turn on your imagination. What do you see here? Some might see an animal, a goat, a reindeer. Others might see a wasp here or three or four flowers in a cluster. Try your imagination. Stars and Constellations. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. This book will tell you all about stars. Well, everything I told you about was about stars, but there's still more to learn. One place you can go to learn more is nasa.gov. And if you search for constellations, they have lots of interesting information. So nasa.gov, NASA's the same group that got some of the photo credits that we looked at at the beginning of this book. The woman who wrote this book, Elizabeth Bennett, this is her photograph. She is now a literary agent helping other people publish their books for young learners. But a while back, when Elizabeth Bennett put this book together, she wrote a glossary, special vocabulary words that you might learn or need to know reading this book, and she wrote these comprehension questions. So, glossary. This word is constellation. It's a group of star stars that form a shape or pattern. Gaze. You probably know what this is. It's to stare at something and wonder. The way ancient people and modern people stare at the stars and gaze. Humongous. Fun word, which means very, very big. Ladle. A large, deep spoon with long handle, like the Big Dipper. Orion. It's a group of stars in the northern sky, and it looks like a hunter. Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. Universe, 
a word, a fancy word for all of space. Comprehension questions. Can you name two facts that you now know about stars? Hmm. Can you name two constellations? Hmm. Can you think of which star is closest to us? And third one here says, can you think of four fantastic words to describe the night sky? Those are good, interesting questions. This science book of vocabulary reader has been Stars and Constellations. It was written by Elizabeth Bennett.